when Ford's Ranger-based Everest wagon first arrived in 2016, we were so impressed it scored our 4x4 of the year award. Here we are three years down the track, it's up for its first major refresh and that includes a fresh new engine and transmission combination. It's got the 2 litre bi-turbo diesel engine and 10 speed auto combination straight from the freshly launched Ranger Raptor Ute. We're going to drive it here up in the mountains, only place to take an Everest, see how it all goes. We've been driving the updated Ford Everest around for a couple of days now, both on and off road, sandy tracks, a bit of mud, some rocks, and the Everest is still proving to be a great, versatile, all-round wagon. The new 2.0-litre turbo diesel engine with a 10-speed auto gives it that extra bit of refinement over the old 5-cylinder engine, um, probably gives it a fair bit more fuel economy. Uh, that 10-speed auto makes a big difference there. Uh, the official figures certainly say it will. We haven't been able to test them for fuel economy back-to-back -back yet. Ford has also improved the ride and handling of the Everest. It's got a relocated front sway bar, which has allowed them to put a thicker sway bar on it and then soften the spring rate up to give it a more compliant ride without sacrificing body roll. Done a really good job of it too. It's a really nice smooth ride. We've also had the chance to back to back it with a new 2019 Everest with the old 3.2 litre engine and six speed auto. And you know, really personally, I prefer the old combo. It's just a lazier engine. It lopes along nicely. It's a bit more unfussed, whereas this four cylinder can be a little bit buzzy and busy on the tracks and switching between the gears. That's really a personal choice. But as I said, if you're concerned about fuel economy, the new engine is definitely going to be your option. It's up to you, it's a $1,200 premium on the Trend model. You can't get the small engine on the Ambiente in titanium, top spec. You can only get the four-cylinder engine. So it's horses for courses, what you really want from your vehicle and what you need. We're looking forward to spending more time in both vehicles so we can see how that pans out on the tracks, spending more time in them than just these last couple of days. See the full report in the magazine soon.